before marriage is good. Me and my fellow debater, Sister Skatazile, we are opposite the motion that says sex before marriage is good. Mm. When we say sex, what do we mean? It's the act of two people being involved in a sexual intercourse. And marriage is a union between a man and a woman, as God has made it. So God says that they too, they will come together as one, and they will be together and they will not be ashamed. So, from our opinion, if you sleep with someone that is not your partner, that means that you will bring shame onto yourself. Number two, I said that sex before marriage is not good because sex is being, it's what God made for husband and wife. And if you take a chance in, in, in participating in such, you are dishonoring yourself and you are, you are dishonoring God and you are bringing shame upon yourself. As I said before, marriage is not good because in the book of Hebrews, 18 verse 4, it says, The marriage bed is on the fight, and what will uh, warm angers and other choice you will judge. As I said, sex before marriage is not good because you take a chance at creating a life that outside the uh, marriage, the way God has intended it for. You know, God intended that children should be born in a marriage, in a wedlock. But if you take a chance and having sex before marriage, it means you're taking a chance at creating a life, a life outside that which God has planned for every child. It, in such doing, you expose children not growing up without their parents involved. At this point, I'll hand over to my... Good day, Mr. Moderator, panel of judges, court debater. My name is Babalua Okavo. I'm here to support the motion which says the sex before marriage is good. Um, wait, till, uh, wait till marriage to come is just a safely sold slogan. I can say some, some divorces caused by cheating outside. For instance, if one of you has been sleeping around claiming that is a virgin, which is not, and then before you find out it's late, you have waited. My second point says, uh, she or he find out what 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 was what was expected was expecting is not what okay what he get is not what was expecting. Mm -hmm. Like for example, for example, if they are not good in bed or they are not satisfied by each other. One woman, she was one day married. She waited only to get the man, his, uh, her, man, her man, he was triple on his private part. The man he was triple on his private part. He cannot produce the kids, he cannot make children. So before she knew, it was after the marriage, which he cannot do anything. Good day, church. I'm here to oppose them. Mm -hmm. Me, I think having sex before marriage is not good. Because when a man sleeps with you, he can eventually leave you and go for greener pastors. And you will lose the interest of marrying you. And also, he will not respect you as he did before. Yeah. That's you, the woman, you'll be losing your pride. Mm. And uh, according to the Bible, mm. that is uh, Acts 15 verse 20. Mm. It says we should abstain from fornication. Mm. So sex before marriage is a sin. Mm. Mr. Moderators, panel of judges, called the debaters. Good day to you all. My name is Miss. Lovely Nobel Naya. I stand here to support the motion which says that sex before marriage is good. Mm. Sex itself is good, whether in marriage or in courtship. Because not everybody is good in bed. And most people don't start out very good. A lot of good sex is by listening to your partner and be able to respond accordingly. But how do you know if someone is a good responder or a listener, if not trying it first? Some people are not sexually compatible. And sexual compatibility matters in a relationship. How do you know if both of you are sexual compatible? Compatible. Compatible. Or let's try it not first. Health condition. 
Not everyone is physically, emotionally, and psychologically stable. And psychologically stable, especially men that are important that cannot perform very well. And they may not be comfortable or have the courage to talk about their sexual problem when starting a new relationship. At the end, it will cause a problem to their relationship. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The next one is one minute. So you just give your point very brief. Amen. Amen. Um, I stand to oppose the motion that says sex before marriage is good. When it comes to sex before marriage, abstinence is the only policy when it comes to sex before marriage. Why? Why do I say abstinence? Because it saves lives. You know, there will be fewer STDs, more or less unwanted pregnancies, less abortions when we, when, we, when we abstain from sex before marriage. It also protects babies, you know. And at the end of the day, sex, sex before marriage is not where God wanted it. It gives sexual relationship the proper value when it happens in the, in the context of a marriage. And lastly, when you have sex before marriage, it does not honor God. Let's take an instance where a brother proposes to marry a sister and she succumbs to have sex with him before the marriage. And at the end of the day, the brother loses interest. Who loses? The sister. The brother will go and look for someone else to marry. So I say, sisters, let's be wise. If you do not, if you do not succumb, the brothers cannot, they cannot force you. Sex before marriage is not good. Let us spread the good news. Thank you. I stand here to support the motion. We say that sex before marriage is good. For instance, when you look around today, there is a lot of divorces because there is a lot of high rates of divorces and unhappy marriage because they are not, they don't get the chance to know each other in bed. Maybe they are not satisfying each other. The man or the woman will go outside to look for whom will satisfy him. So it's not good. That's why I say it's good to know each other before getting into marriage. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We will hear from the first judges. For the first judge, Mr. Ogone. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
sex before marriage is good and sex before marriage is not good. In as much as I want to stand on the biblical aspect, I want to as well to look at it from the natural aspect because um, just as our debaters have said here initially, you know, in some marriages today, we found out that one of the core problems in our marriages today is sex. Why? Because just as one of us say here, when the woman is not getting what she expected from the man before she got into marriage, as well as what we were like, it's just a story when the pastor was preaching, you know, when, when a brother was just after a, a woman, was after the lady, after the lady, and they didn't get good to men before marriage. Finally, when they get married, or when they were about to get married, you see, when they get married, about to get married, they found out that the brother's manhood was as small as it as a result of because of what the brother did. And the church stood to him and said, No, that the brother cannot get married to the sister. Why are they saying the brother cannot get married to the sister? Why? Because the, the man's manhood was what? Just the way it is, and the woman will not have satisfaction. And at the end of the day, the woman will run outside. And if maybe the woman never found out that, you know, the church never found out that, they would have gotten married. And at the end of the day, you find out that the woman will be cheated. But in as much as we are looking at the aspects that sex before marriage is good, we should understand that biblically it is not good as well. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for him. Amen. Amen. Let's hear from our father. And not the father, the judge. Today I'm the judge, not the father. <laughs> Amen. The debate, you can even see the judges are still debating. The debate was so great. Put your hands together for the, the debaters. We are finding it difficult to have conclusion among us as the judges. And uh, from the point we get, we discover that some of the judges were saying they all have the same point. So by now we have to look at it again and balance it up with what we believe, what we preach, and what we teach. On the debate line, our sisters made a very uh, pressing uh, point, especially those who are saying it is good because of what is happening today in our society. So they would have said that it's better so that you'll be able to know before you make your decision. But we are looking at, we look at it again, balancing it from what does God say? Because all that they were saying was what the world feels and the reasons why it should be so. But the other people opposing said that according to the word of God and they quote the scripture. And that is where we stand. So at the conclusion we discover that those who say it is good, they have 10 points. And those who say it's not good, that we should abstain until after marriage, they have 12 points. So both sides, they have good reasons. By the end, what God says is where we stand, and it is for our good. Thank you.